and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys where today we are going to be celebrating the renewal of Pedri until 2026 at Barca. Today he officially signed that renewal and both he and Juan Laporta faced the media where Laporta admitted that this was one of the best days of his presidency so far and Pedri spoke of still living the dream at the club, of course, that he has supported since he was a boy before Laporta also had a parting shot at Bartomeu. It is all coming up. So let's celebrate this good news. Because indeed, guys, as it was confirmed by the club on Thursday afternoon, today on Friday, Pedri did officially sign that brand new contract extension at Barca that's going to keep him here until 2026. And Pedri said today that he hopes to, to add further years on top of that too when the time comes. And of course, Pedri has signed there that long-term deal with a release clause of 1 billion euros, which really did does out line Barca's ambition and certainly the strategy that we're going to use going forward because many people I've heard say you know what Pedri isn't worth 1 billion nobody would pay that why are Barca setting the release clause so high but that's literally the point we don't want anyone to pay that clause in Spain as we know you have to have a release clause it is the law so you can't not have one and seeing as you've got to have it there why not set it high Pedri is a player here that we want to keep at the club we don't want any club to have the ability to sign him during this contract so that's why we've set that clause high Benzema's buyout clause has been a billion for many many years and there's no reason now as to why Pedri and many other of our young stars can have their future at this club secured with these kinds of deals. And indeed, guys, before we do move on to the words there of Pedri himself on this fantastic day and the president, Juan Laporta, let's first of all give ourselves a refresher on why we're so excited about Pedri, why for us he can be a massive player in our future and indeed our present, because let's not forget that last season he was absolutely fantastic in the Barca first team, breaking through there, 56 appearances he's made in total during his Barca career, 39 in La Liga, 9 in the Champions League, 6 in the Copa del Rey, and 2 in the Spanish Super Cup. And he was our second youngest ever player to make 50 official Barca appearances, only behind their Bojan. He was the fourth youngest Barca goal scorer of all time. And look at the company that he's in, behind Ansu Fati, Bojan, and Lionel Messi. He appeared the most times of any Barca player last season during his breakthrough campaign. He won the Copa del Rey, of course, his first trophy as a Barca a player whilst also appearing in the UEFA Champions League breakthrough 11 for the way that he played. And that certainly is not the end when it comes to Pedri because certainly whilst at club level he has been breaking through at incredible pace at international level he's probably taken it to an entirely different level altogether. He's made 10 appearances in total there for Spain at the Euros in World Cup qualification and indeed in friendly matches. Don't forget as well he played at the Olympics technically there for Spain under 20 he was the youngest player ever to debut for Spain at the Euros and he was the youngest player ever out of any country to appear in the European Championships knockout stages. He was named there the young player of the tournament, of course, for his incredible campaign at the Euros, along with being involved in the team of the tournament and winning silver. So, so close he was to gold at the Olympic Games to cap off what was a truly stunning year for Pedri. And that is why... We rate him so highly, he's already achieved so much, and he can go on and only improve from here. Because indeed, just this morning, it was confirmed that both Pedri and Gavi are among there, the 20 finalists for this year's Golden Boy Award, which of course there is presented to the best player of the year under age 21, which is amazing then, not only for Pedri, but also for Gavi to be included in that award. Those two there, that, like we said, can very much be the future of our midfield. And of course, this comes after Pedri was also confirmed in the list of the Ballon d'Or finalists for this year after a stunning breakthrough campaign to play as many matches as he did, to keep the level of consistency that he did, both physical demands, mental demands, he handled it all at 18 years old. That, for me, 
It is unheard of. Pedri spoke indeed about the delight of renewing his contract at Barca today. He said, I've always said that being here is a dream for me. Ever since I was a kid, I'm so happy to be able to continue at this club. He said, the fans have shown me from day one that they love me here, that they appreciate me. They've always been behind me. He said, I'm really, really grateful for that support. He said, from the first day, everything here at this club has gone really well. He said, when I first arrived, I was a bit nervous. He said, but as soon as I got the ball on the pitch there, as soon as I started, started out there on the field, those nerves went away. He said, sometimes I do realise, though, that it's not normal what I'm experiencing right now. And when he was speaking about the highlights, about the matches that he'll remember in a Barca shirt, he said, of course, my first goal for Barca was a really special moment for me. He said, I actually kept my boots from that game. He said, I also kept them from my first Barca game. And he said, I'll also always remember the game that we played against Juve in Turin, of course, away at Juventus. He said, it was a great game for me on an individual and, of course, the team too. He said on my first final with Barca, winning the Copa del Rey was also very special. And I also did like as well when he was asked about the club's current situation, about the fact that we are in a difficult moment. Pedri did say that yes, we are in a difficult moment right now. The team, of course, is not where we want it to be. But he said we have so much young talent coming through at this club. He said we've got a great future. He said I will fight and give everything for this badge to get the Barca fans back on their feet. He said this is still the best club in the world. Then he was over to the president, Juan Laporta, and I do have to say, this is probably the happiest I've seen Laporta since he was elected. It has been difficult months, there have been problems, of course, at the club, and there still are, but Laporta today seems so, so happy that he got this deal over the line, that he'd secured the future of Pedri, and of course, the likes of Ansu Fati Araujo, those are going to be the players next down the line that we want to tie down and continue at this club. Laporta said, today is an historic day. He said, it's a great day for us. We are living in a a moment here where a player who loved Barca as a kid, he's now living his dream because of his efforts and because of his talent. He then spoke to his parents who were actually in the crowd. He said he's followed the advice and the values of his parents. He said that here right now he addressed them very personally. He said also his big brother who's helped them a lot. Today is a day where we can be very, very proud. He said it is important that we recognise that a big effort has been made from both sides here on this agreement. He said which really did help us to get here. He said thank you very much Pedri for your efforts, for your love for this club and everything you're giving us. And I did feel today a real warmth there between Laporta and Pedri. He's clearly very, very grateful that Pedri has made sacrifices here to sign a very long-term deal even despite our financial concerns and of course sports worries too. Laporta very, very happy to get this deal done. And then he started laughing. He actually recalled the time where, of course, Laporta signed Pedri's shirt. When he was a kid there, he actually went up to Laporta. He asked for his signature. Laporta signed Pedri's shirt. He said, that was many, many years ago when you were young. He said, how things have changed, how times have changed. He said, now the one who's signing the shirts, it's you. And you're signing many, many of them. He said, but look, Everybody loves Barca. He said even the priest at the church, he liked Barca. He said, no wonder Messi, he actually made a mistake. He said, no wonder Messi, he said, sorry, I mean Pedri. Laughing again, he said, no wonder he liked Barca too. I am not surprised at that. Before Laporta said, up until now, for me, this is the best day of my presidency. He said, of course, I was very happy when we won the Copa del Rey. But he said, today is one of those days where it's worth being the Barca president. He said, thanks to phenomenal players like this guy. Tapping Pedri there on the arm. A real warmth, like I say, and Laporta, very, very grateful, I feel, for the commitment of Pedri and the love that he clearly has of this club. But I do want to highlight a particular quote as well in the direction of Bartomeu, who over the past 24 hours has been doing a lot of talking, a lot of deflecting, a lot of absolute nonsense that's been coming out of his mouth. They're the man who's put us in so many difficulties. But when Laporta was asked about Bartomeu in this press conference, he said, look, I'm not going to distract myself on such a great day by answering questions about somebody I see as a very desperate man. He said only now is he realising the magnitude of the disaster that he's responsible for at this club. He said, no, I don't want to talk about him and I won't talk about him. This is Pedri's day and Pedri's moment. And we as Barca fans, like I say, we've got to grab this good news. We've got to accept this good news with both hands, keeping Pedri... Until 2026, it's massive for our present, it's massive for our future, and of course we're all looking forward to seeing him back on the field very soon.
So please, guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below there off the back of this big, big renewal here for Pedri. What do you make there listening to the words of Pedri himself? Also, the words of Laporta. And of course, very soon, we are going to be talking about Barca returning to action this weekend against Valencia. I'll be seeing you for all of that build-up soon. Thank you indeed, though, for tuning in here and joining me on what is a special day. I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca. Uh -huh.